Images can make your online course come alive. They can illustrate themes in your content and make your course more visually appealing and engaging to students. This video will demonstrate how to find good, usable images and how to place them effectively in Blackboard. First things first, finding images for your course. The internet is a good source for pictures, graphs, and drawings that you can use, but you want to be careful not to violate intellectual property and copyright laws. One of the best ways to find images that are licensed for sharing is by using the advanced search option in Google. When looking for images on Google to use in your Blackboard course, you need to change the usage rights. To do this, click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner and choose advanced search. From this menu, you can change the usage rights from not filtered by license to free to use or share. Make sure you save images and image URL so you can properly cite the image later. Now let's take a look at how to put images you find in your Blackboard course. You can add an image to most areas of Blackboard using the edit tools. To add or edit an image, click on the image icon in the editing toolbar. From here, you can either paste the image's URL or browse your computer for it. Make sure to add an image description to meet the needs of visually impaired learners. Now, let's look at the appearance tab. You'll want to align and size your image based on the page layout where you're placing the image. If you need to resize a larger picture that you've inserted, change the dimensions from here, and then insert it into your course. Overall, images liven up an online course and can help engage your students. It's important to be selective of the images you choose and to make sure you have permission to use them. Thanks for watching.